welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video which is definitely a new type of video that I've never, never done before but it's basically a full face on of first impressions so products that I haven't really tried yet and it's just literally my first impression on them. This is a look that I've created and to be honest like I'm really loving it. Most of the products, there were some that I'm like mmm but most of the products were really good. I do have a disclaimer however, um, some of the products in this video were sent to me. If you don't really like the idea of that I would suggest clicking out this video because I don't want any negative comments like I don't, any negative comment that I will see I will block and delete. I am obviously grateful for, for like all these brands um, having me try out their products and it's honestly because of you guys that I am here right now so I am super grateful for you but I just wanted to put that out there because um, I do kind of get comments here and there saying oh, if I've been sent stuff and yes yeah, some of the products have been sent to me to review and try it for you guys but anyways I hope you guys will like this video and we'll jump straight into it so I already have my brows done because I don't really have any like new brow products to kind of like try out and review for you guys but I've everything else I've got a ton of. These slippers are bugging me. Two seconds. But the first thing that I'm going to start off with is kind of like lip care. So the first thing that I wanted to try was the Wonder Kiss Essential Lip Scrub. This is what it looks like and it comes like with like a tip like that. I have used this for my mum and she kind of likes it. I don't know if you guys can see but this legit looks like sugar and it tastes like sugar as well but it's definitely like exfoliating that feels really nice actually I rarely exfoliate my lips you know it really tastes nice but I'm not gonna eat it I'm just gonna scrub it off wipe it off I mean my lips definitely feel soft definitely feel really soft and like pinky that's a good one. That's definitely like one that I would actually use. Um, the next thing is from Glam Glow. This is their lip plumping product. But I got the uh, matte lip treatment. I didn't really want the glossy one so I decided to go and try the matte one. Um, it does say turn cap. And then pull this out. Oh! This is what the applicator looks like. So I'm just going to put this on. This doesn't really go on shiny. We shall see if this plumps my lips. Before. And then you can just literally push it back in. I really like the packaging by the way. Um, it does feel, it is tingling and it's, it smells like really minty. Yeah, it is really tingly actually. But I kind of like that because I feel like it is actually doing something. Okay, so I've already have my skin moisturised and everything. So the first thing I'm going to be using, which I'm really excited about, <laughs> um, is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have the shade Caramel. Um, but... I'm just super excited. What I might do is I will probably like try this today, let you know what my instant thoughts are on it and then probably do a review on it afterwards, like later on, because you guys know I love doing my foundation reviews. So I'll probably have a separate video on it, on like my thoughts. It comes with like a spatula and that looks like a pretty good colour match to me. Before I try any foundation around my mouth, I wanted to try the um, Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette, which looks like this. They were very kind to send me this. Um, this is in the shade Medium Dark. So you kind of have a mirror in the middle and then you have your powders here, a highlight, a setting powder, your contour powders, and then any creams. But the first cream that I want to try is the corrector colour, so I'm really excited to try that out. They actually sent me the brush to go with it. This is the um, Naked... Sorry. This is the contour shape shifter. Actually, I might keep that for my contour. This is definitely a first impression. See, I keep touching it here. I don't know what it is. Um, I have swatched this colour already. I haven't tried it, but it definitely feels very um 
like velvety. It's definitely like the right shade for me. Ooh, my lips are like burning. I've got a few veins coming through here because of my massive cheeks, so I'm going to colour correct that. What I love about this is that you're sure it's not going to like mix with your foundation because it kind of sets. It's like very, like, like I say, it's like very velvety, so it's not going to like really mix in with your foundation or anything or concealer, which is really good. Okay, I'm just going to go with this. foundation. I'm just going to use my Sigma 3D HD Kabuki brush. Um, just on my impression, like first impression of it, it's definitely got full coverage. I don't know if it claims to be full coverage. Kind of, <clears throat> it kind of has a, an oil paint scent which is not that <clears throat> it's not that great but I'm not really too bothered like I've said that in some of my previous video I'm not bothered about like scents and stuff like I love it when things smell nice but if they have like a really strong smell or anything like unless it smells obviously like really bad I'm not gonna like it obviously I'm just gonna like cover this a bit because this is bugging me look how that's covered my corrector already Wow, I'm quite impressed with this actually. It just looks really soft. We shall see how it looks by the end of the video. But I'm really happy. I can't believe I actually managed to find my right colour. Now the next thing. I'm a bit weary about the next thing. Um, I did get this Jordana Complete Cover Concealer Foundation kind of thing. Um, this is in the shade Honey Olive. And I did look at shades online and thought every... like. Normally when I look for a colour and buy it online, I would say 80 or 90% of the time I'm right. And there's only like one or two occasionally where I like really miss out on. But this, I was pretty sure I got the right colour. But it came out, oh my goodness, I swatched it, I did swatch it, but I haven't tried it on yet. But I'm just going to see on one eye how it looks like. How... Is that honey olive? This is this is sand to me. Honey olive. Where's the olive? The other thing is when I blended it on my hand, it did not look like complete cover. I mean, this might work or it might just go very wrong, so we shall see. I mean, when you blend it out, it's not that bad, but it's not... To, I have to be honest, like, I I don't really have that much pigmentation, like... My under eyes is not my biggest concern, apart from the fact that it's very, like, hollow. Like, my eyelids go in... my under eyes go inwards, so it makes it look darker, but I don't necessarily have much pigmentation. I mean, I do a bit, but I don't have that much. But I feel like if you were to go with this concealer, because it was only £5, it's a drugstore product, I got it off Beauty Bay. Um, they recently came out on Beauty Bay, and I thought, oh, let me just give it a try. I've never heard of this brand. I think it's like an Amer yeah, it says made in the USA. Um, and it said complete cover, so anything we've said that says maximum coverage should mean maximum coverage and that ain't this is sheer coverage to me so um if you do have quite a lot of pigmentation on the eyes i feel like this is like a bb cream it's not a complete coverage product i don't know what they were thinking when they made this or named it because that and the color to be honest it looks a tad gray i might actually take it off i'm i don't really like that I do have to say that the Wet n Wild foundation is very, very matte. Like it's definitely set matte. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to just try this colour right here from the Naked um, Shapeshifter palette. This is definitely going to be a highlight product rather than a concealer. 
that is what it's like on its own. So what I'm going to do, I know it's a full face of first impression, but I'm going to use my Wet n Wild concealer. Just apply it on this side, just to compare. Because I feel like a highlight product is used with a concealer. And that Jordana concealer is not cutting the chase for me, so I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild one. See, that is full coverage to me. And then I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Cream Yellow product just to brighten it a bit they definitely feel very velvety I'm also going to go on the bridge of my nose I like the fact that it's yellow because it keeps the warmth and it doesn't look grey. I do feel like this side looks more flawless than with it by itself so you definitely have to like use it with a concealer. I'm just going to put a bit of concealer here. I like my nose. I'm going to try the contour products so I'm going to go in with this colour. It seems really dark but we'll try. We'll give it a go and I'm going to use the Shapeshifter brush from Urban Decay which looks like this. Very fancy fancy. The brush feels very sturdy, I can tell you that. I'm just going to use this side. I'm not going to put too much. I just barely dabbed that in. I barely dabbed it in. That's not bad. I do have to say I'm not that great at cream contouring. But I feel like a little definitely goes a long way. That's not bad actually, can you see that natural shadow it's giving me? Just be careful, I'm just tabbing the excess on the back of my hand. You can go back with your highlighter just to... I'm going to use the setting powder in the palette. I'm going to like this. The reason why is that it's literally like blurred, blurred my under eyes. Hmm. Just going to put a bit on my forehead. That's really nice. Anyways, I'm going to use the, um, like the contour shade, so I'm going to probably use that one right there. I'm just going to use a large stippling brush because I don't want it to be too contoured. I really want it to like diffuse. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Balm Blusher. And this is the long wearing blush in, I think it's just because it's just called Balm Springs, so they have different ones. So this one's the Balm Springs one. That's pretty. That goes on so like subtle and like very natural. That is nice. I really like that. Now on to highlight. There is a highlight um, in the um, naked palette. But today, oh my god, look how like snatched my face is. Like contoured highlight. 
Oh, uh, I really, I'm actually going to really like this because lately I've really been enjoying having like really bright under eyes. I feel like it makes me just look so awake. But anyways, today I'm going to be using the highlighting palette by The Balm. This is actually their luminizing collection. Um, this is your famous Mary Luminizer, Betty Luminizer, and this is Cindy Luminizer. I'm probably going to try this today to see what the hype is all about. I'm going to use the Urban Decay brush with it. The thing, this... To, I don't know if you guys have realised that you rarely see me use fan brushes because like I have like a few here but they're very thin and like I feel like it doesn't give that diffused highlight I feel like it's just like a line but this Urban Decay one it's like a duo fibre one but it's kind of like fluffy like it's a fluffy fan brush whilst if you compare it to this one it's very thin can you see the difference? so I'm really excited to try this to see if it gives like that more you know, diffused effect. Okay. This. Hmm. Now I know why everyone's raving about this. Oh my god. I'm really tempted to try the... Um, See, even this one, it's... No, actually, this one's a bit more fluffier. This is my Vanity Planet one. It's very similar to the Urban Decay, but actually, Urban Decay is a bit more fluffier, which I kind of like. I'm going to try Betty Lou, which is the darker one. I feel like Betty Lou is definitely my type of highlight for my skin tone because I feel like this is a bit light but this one's like really like perfect for my skin tone. I'm mixing um, Betty and Mary Luminizer together and what I like about this, I'm actually going to mix the two on both sides so they're even but what I like about this highlight is like it's a wet glow, it's not sparkly just gonna set my under eye just with the setting brush that I use just so that the highlight doesn't go too in. The rest is actually quite a lot of the balm because they recently sent me a bunch of stuff to try out, which I'm super excited about. Um so thank you, the balm and to Urban Decay for sending me a bunch of stuff to try out. But I'm going to be using the matte adore palette. Um, and it comes with these type of colours which I'm not really used to working with, so I thought it would be a nice go. I actually do have the balm primer. The eye primer is actually upstairs, but it's another good eyeshadow primer. And I've had it in my favourites before because it's so good at like absorbing oils on your lid and like making sure your eyeshadows don't crease. I'm going to take this shade right here to set my concealer in place and this is called Matte Johansson. And in my crease I'm going to use this colour right here which is Matte Jones. It's like a camely kind of colour. I'm also going to take this colour right here. This is called Matte Williams with the same brush and I'm just going to deepen that crease a bit. I'm going to take this shade right here. This is kind of like a matte dusty rose. And I'm just going to pop this on my lid. And then I'm going to take an angled brush with the darkest shade in the palette, which is like a navy colour. And this is called Matte Lee. And I'm just going to take this and really go close to the lash line. So that's what it looks like. And I'm actually really digging it right now. I really like the way that looks. I know I have highlight on my brows, so oh, I'll actually fix that, fix that in a bit. 
Okay, so now I'm going to apply some mascara. They did also send me some waterproof mascara. This is this, their new Scuba Water Resistant Black Mascara. I don't know what I just said there, but it's a waterproof one. But just make sure to check the description. Um, the only reason I don't like water mascara, waterproof mascara is because I feel like it's really hard to take off. So make sure to change, check the description box and I'll let you I'll keep you updated on how it did get come off if it came off easily or if I had to pull my eyelashes out. I'll probably definitely wear mascara a waterproof mascara to my wedding though, because I'm so emotional, I can cry at anything. I'm actually not mad at it. It's quite good actually. I have realised though that it is a bit harder to build on, on it because obviously it is waterproof. But that's not bad. The weirdest thing is that my lips feel hydrated, but they're super matte. Okay, so now I'm also going to try out these new lashes that I've received from False Eyelashes UK. And that's literally my main website where I get all my lashes from. Um, this is, these are from the brand Coco Lashes, and this is in the style Amore. Um, I'm just waiting for my lash glue to dry. Okay, let's go on to lips. I'm actually really happy with that glam glow thing. But anyways, my lash glue is still drying. So for the lips, I recently got it. I actually got it yesterday. I I purchased the Rimmel Matte Liquid Lipstick, the new one. This one's in the shade Mocha, and I feel like this would be a really, really nice colour. And I've seen so much advertisement on these. Wow, they're very pigmented. I do feel like it's going a little bit patchy, just a, type, a tad bit. It's definitely light, so I'm gonna definitely go in with some lip pencil. I'm gonna use my Max Spice lip pencil. I think that's a bit, a bit better. They're very, very out there. A trusty old eyelash contraption. These are what they look like. They're very, very dramatic lashes, but I kind of am loving it. So that's the end of this first impression video. I really, really, really enjoyed doing this one. And if you want to see more in the future, let me know. I was also thinking of doing a full face of one brand makeup tutorial, um, maybe like LA Girl or something. But definitely let me know what you guys would like to see in the future in the comments below. I'm like so shocked with this highlight. But anyways, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you next time.